So the reviews for The Little Mermaid have come out, and upon first glance, they look pretty good. However, when you do a little bit of digging, they seem to not actually make any sense at all. So as you can see here upon this review, which is actually labeled as a good review, when you actually read it, it's anything but. As David Poland says, I wouldn't tell anyone not to see this movie. It is all about fan service, and if you are a fan who wants this, you should try it, but it's not a good movie. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yet that's put down as a good review. So that doesn't really make any sense at all. And when you dig even deeper, you can see many reviews saying that this film is actually quite bad and quite boring. But on top of these bad reviews, the actress Hayley Bailey has come out and said that a lot of online critics are just racist trolls and that the movie's actually getting negative reviews online before people have even seen it just because they're being racist. And look, I have no problem with Hayley Bailey saying that because I don't doubt that she's actually getting racially attacked online through direct messages or people tagging her in a tweet. However, when you do look at the actual reviews online, you can clearly see that they're not race-based and they're actually attacking the film for what it is rather than who they cast. However, even though this is the case, a lot of Hollywood publications have put out that there's a bunch of racist trolls out there attacking The Little Mermaid and attacking Hayley Bailey. And I think a lot of these Hollywood publications are probably being influenced by Disney and are only saying this because this is the message Disney wants to put out. However, in my opinion, all I've seen about this film has been negative reviews about the actual movie, and I haven't seen much that's actually racially attacking Hayley Bailey. However, the message being put out by these Hollywood publications is anything but that, as they're saying that there's so many toxic racist fans and they're attacking Disney and attacking The Little Mermaid and these racist fans must be stopped. However, in my opinion, I haven't really seen much of that at all. So I actually think that this is a distraction technique done by Disney to distract people from what the movie actually is, which apparently is not a good film. So I think Disney's using this to further fuel an online feud and distract people from what the movie actually is, so all they talk about is the racial abuse going towards Hayley Bailey, which, in my opinion, through what I've seen on YouTube, online, isn't much in the public feed. However, I still don't doubt that Hayley Bailey is receiving direct messages, but when you do look at the reviews, they're not racial attacking the film or Hayley Bailey at all. Because when you look at the major critiques of this film, they're all saying that the movie is pointless and is exactly the same as the original film, just live action. And they're also saying that a lot of the live action CGI is really distracting and really poorly done, and it takes away from the magic and the greatness of the story that they're telling. So after reading those reviews, there's only one question in my mind, which is what's the point? What's the point of another live action remake? What's the point of another remake of a film that they did back in the 90s? To me, it just doesn't make sense because they continue to do this and tell the exact same story again, just live action, and everyone's annoyed by that because who wants to go out and spend their hard-earned money at a cinema to watch the exact same film that they could have watched at home on their TV? It just doesn't make sense to me, and it's so clearly just a money grab, which is really sad to me because Disney used to be at the forefront of telling a original stories. Disney used to come up with so many great original films and original stories that everyone could love and enjoy. And part of the reason that everyone will go and watch The Little Mermaid is because the original movie of The Little Mermaid was so good. Back in the 90s to the early 2000s, a lot of the films that Disney were putting out were original and they were really fun. They were really captivating and they had this certain element of magic about them. When you watch the original Peter Pan, when you watch the original Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, there's this Disney magic and everyone was captivated by that. But now all they seem to do with these remakes, which lack all the magic and all the elements that we enjoyed about Disney back in the 90s to the early 2000s. And so all of this is clearly about money, and I think another way for them to drive money to this film is to then fuel a debate online over racism and try and bring attention to the movie and distract from the bad reviews by coming out and attacking some toxic fans or attacking toxic critics who, in my opinion, are only critiquing the film. However, by them coming out and saying that all these people are racist 
racist and they're attacking the movie and they must be stopped. They're able to just conjure up a lot of attention and get a lot of people to go to the cinema and actually watch the movie for themselves. So this is an attention seeking technique, but in my opinion, it's actually quite dangerous because by them coming out unprovoked and attacking a lot of people online, they're only causing them to get even more angry and they're only adding fuel to the fire for them to come back and actually be racist because if they're going to come out and attack people without really being provoked at all and attack a lot of people and call them racist, they're then going to come back really angry and react out of emotion. And what this does is actually make Haley Bailey's life a lot worse and the life for a lot of their actors a lot worse. And they're only going to get attacked online purely because Disney just wanted to use this whole racism debate to bring attention to their film so they can just make more money. It's honestly really disgusting in my opinion and I think the media has a lot to answer for here because they're the ones who are actually making the life for these actors and these actresses worse and they're actually making the reviews for this film even worse as well because so many people are just going to be annoyed because they wish that you could just do a diverse casting film without coming out and lecturing people, without coming out and provoking people and attacking people. Just cast diverse people as the role and don't even mention it. Put the film out and not many people will attack the movie. But the problem lies when they cast someone diverse and use it as a way to then lecture people and pander to an audience. Because what that says to a lot of people and what that says to me is that you didn't cast them because they were the best person for the role. You cast them as a tool to try and bring money in for yourself. And you're using those actors to try and conjure up a narrative which will bring more attention to the film. And the way this movie started out, I was actually really happy with it because you had the director come coming out and saying that there's no agenda being pushed with this remake. They cast the best people for each role and that's the reason there's a black Ariel because they saw Haley Bailey act, they saw her audition and they said she was the best person for the role so they cast her. There is nothing wrong with that but as soon as Disney get involved and all the producers get involved and start conjuring up a narrative and getting Hollywood publications to put out that there's all these toxic racist trolls, it just makes it so much worse and it takes away from what the film could have been. Which is why I think Disney need to start focusing on original stories and casting diverse people for the first time in those roles without lecturing people. Because if you were to make an original story, then no one can get mad if you cast an Asian actor or a black actor, because it's not a recasting, it's not a rebranding of that role, it's the first time that role is appearing on screen. So people can't get mad at you for changing over the race of a character because it was never done before. And if they were to do that, put the movie out and not lecture people and not pander to people and not attack people online, then Disney would be in a much better place. And I think a lot of people on Line would respect Disney a lot more, but it's just becoming so clear that they don't want to do that. It's becoming so clear that all they want to do is keep sparking debates and keep sparking feuds online because it results in them making more money and they no longer have to focus on actually making a good movie, which is so sad because I was a Disney fan for so long and it just annoys me because I do want to see those great Disney films again. I want that Disney magic to return to their original films. But after watching Peter Pan and Wendy and now leading into The Little Mermaid, which I was actually excited for, I just don't know. I don't know if Disney's ever going to change or if they're ever going to go back to being a creative company because that's what they were founded on. They had such great creativity. They told such great stories. Now it's just all corporatized. Now it's all just about making money and using these social agendas to push out narratives and try and spark huge debates. It's just getting ridiculous and I feel so sorry for all the creative people involved because none of them did anything wrong. The director never said anything wrong. Haley Bailey never actually lectured anyone. She didn't attack anyone. She just said, as a black actor, you get used to seeing things like this. And that's all she said. There's no problem with it. So for the first time, we could have had a movie come out with a diverse cast that wasn't lecturing people, that wasn't causing a lot of people to be upset, but Disney get involved, and what do you know, they completely ruin the whole film. So stay tuned, I am excited to watch The Little Mermaid, see if it's any good, and give it an honest review, but this has really dampened the movie for me, and I'm just really getting sick of what Disney's doing lately with their remakes, but what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.